Good afternoon to you. I'm Ron Drell Moore and for Susan Dinkle. Today we're hearing from a local deputy for the first time after being shot while on duty. Vermillion County Deputy Joe Wilson is now at home recovering. He stayed at Union Hospital after he was shot in the leg and foot. Wilson had surgery on Saturday. It all happened on Friday night near Dana, Indiana after a chase. You're seeing a map of that area now. Police say the suspect was Justin Henry. They say he got out of the vehicle and fired at police. Henry then went into a barn, started a farm truck, and rammed through the door. Officers fired at the truck, hitting Henry. News 10's Blake Dollier sat down with Deputy Wilson earlier today. He says he felt the shot in the foot pretty quickly, but he says he didn't realize he'd, be sh he'd been shot in the shin until he started running after the suspect. Wilson says he stands ready to return. Hoping to go back and do it the exact same I was with no, no hesitations, no anxiety about it. Um, I enjoy doing my job and I'm going to continue to do it the same way I was doing it before. Now coming up tonight on News 10 at 6, News 10's Blake Dollier will have even more from his one-on-one -on -one interview with Deputy Wilson. But for now, we want to talk about what's happening as the investigation continues. Law enforcement involved in the shooting are now on administrative leave. It's standard with this kind of situation. Those officers are Vermilion County Deputies Joey Wilson, Keith Warner, and Chad Hennis. Park County Deputy Sean Clover, Rockville Police Officer Ian Redman, Fountain County Deputy Ethan Stonebreaker, and Indiana State Police Master Trooper Charles Murphy are all also on administrative leave. Newsom's Blake Dollier is live now in our newsroom. He went to the Sheriff's Office to learn more about the situation. He tells us how deputies are keeping the community safe with several officers on leave. Plus, he explains what they're doing in the meantime and what their contingency plan is moving forward. Blake. Rondrell, I sat down with Vermilion County Sheriff Mike Holtkamp. He wants to reassure residents across Vermilion County that operations within the Sheriff's Office will continue as normal. When a deputy is put on administrative leave, they're unable to go out patrolling or perform their normal duties. You can think of this like an excused absence from work until Indiana State Police finish up their investigation. Sheriff Holtkamp says while this is the case, the Sheriff's Office had to find a way to fill the missing spots. Holtkamp says a lot of guys will be switching shifts or coming in on days off. Reserves will also be stepping up to fill the missing spots. He says the deputies who are on administrative leave right now will be likely back in about a week or so. Holtkamp says he's looking forward to getting his staff back. He says in the meantime, there's no safety risk to the public despite there being fewer officers. I want the public to know that we've, we've got shifts covered, the, the, the community's covered, we've got plenty of help out there. I mean, we're a little thin, but we've got shifts covered, we've got plenty of help out to you know, patrol the answer calls. Again, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll, I'll have my one-on-one -on -one interview with Deputy Wilson. Reporting live in the newsroom, Blake Dollier, News 10. I'm looking forward to that interview, Blake. Thank you.